Oh, lo- a lot. Um, it was just cool to hear him talk and about his life experiences and um, how he views the world and, and you know, you realise what he's done like, outside of music and, and like, in terms, of, in terms of charity and, and the people he's dealt with, like, politically. Um, he's just a huge um, personality and it was um, unbelievable to hear him speak. Unbelievably intelligent and well-articulated guy. Um, it was just really, really cool evening. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, Faz kind of like wants to give us a bit of an, an identity, uh, like you said, and and you know he's doing that through our training, but yeah, also through you know things like you know getting to speak to Bono and um, you know last night he talked about kind of like Irishness and and what it means to be Irish and what's special about it, you know. So I think that's definitely something that, that Faz is bringing in, and it's and it's something that I think we as a team are, are really buying into, um, which is quite exciting. Uh, we actually sang, sang a little bit. Sang yeah. a wee bit for us yeah. anyway, so we did. I can't say. Oh, can't, can't say. say. No, yeah, it's for no. a secret. Jeez, I wouldn't get in the wrong side of banner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Connor, how much of the, the two games last year have you kind of looked at and sort of brought into this week? I mean, you know, like obviously the, the, having your, the first one being the first game of last year's campaign, the Six Nations, and then the, the warm ups, the World Cup, I mean, the two, two games that have occurred. Yeah, um, yeah, um, especially the one, or both of them, but especially the one in the summer. Um, two very different types of games. Uh, so we've looked at them. Um, we obviously looked at the one uh, last year from the first game of the Six Nations and, and took away a bit. Um, we've touched on that a little bit this week. Um, you know, a lot of similar players, a lot of the same players, maybe similar ways of playing. Um, and we've looked at the summer game in patches. I think the summer game was just a, a strange one, um, if I'm honest. It was just a, it's a weird game and a lot a lot went wrong, so um, you think that the chances of that happening again are, are quite slim, so, um, you know, we focused a, a lot on ourselves as well this week, you know, we were happy with our last performance and just trying to up that again, um, you know, just become a little bit more accurate, uh, take a few more of those chances, we had a lot of chances in the first half of that Wales game that uh, could have had a, a, a different look on the game at half time, so, um, you know, we're happy with where we're at, but um, looking to go, go up another level, which uh, will be essential against England away. No, it's 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 you know it's great that we have two wins and we've we've those games behind us. Um, but England away, you, I don't think it would change any approach whether the, the two games went differently at the start. You know, it's England away; it's a massive, massive test match. Um, you know, they've had an unbelievable uh, run, especially in the World Cup. You know, they've had a tough opening to the Six Nations. Um, you know, France were really good. Uh, their game against Scotland was massively affected by that storm. So, um, you know, they'll be looking to come back home to Twickenham and put in a really good performance and, and show people what they're, what they're capable of and similar performances that they put in the World Cup and they'll be really hungry for that. So, um, our approach is England are a massively um, dangerous team and, and we need to respect that. And, um, that's how we treated this week. Great, yeah. Um, I haven't chatted him too much. He's he's been um, lurking around, um, but you know, for the lads who don't know him that well, um, just to be able to sit down and have a chat with him and and you know, you know, listen to him, similar to Bono in a way, with just just getting as much information out of him and knowledge that, as you can. So um, just having a, a guy like that. With the presence he has and, and what he's done in the game is, is great to have around camp. And Jacob, you obviously probably don't know uh, Paul as much as Connor would obviously like. So what, what's it been like for you and other players who wouldn't know Paul that well? <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean I'd say I've only met him a couple of times, but uh, yeah, like again, you know, I haven't really been getting to chat to him an awful lot, but you know, it's clear to see the respect that he that he still has, you know, around the camp and and with the guys who played with him. Um, and you know, I suppose <clears throat> he's just kind of trying to trying to get an idea, you know, of of, of what the culture is like and, and anything things anything that we can be doing better. Um, but yeah, I think it's been it's been brilliant to have him about, and uh, you know, he's like he's having a bit of crack with the lads as well, and he seems to be enjoying himself. So yeah, it's been good. Thank you, Ben. Where do you feel you are yourself now under the new head coach and Farrell? Do you still feel you're finding your feet in this team? Do you feel like you know? Or 
could you feel as well that you got the back three are still yet to explode that you've already found? Um, I mean, I don't think I don't think we're still I don't think we're finding our feet. Uh, you know, although yeah, me and Jordo are, are still pretty young. Um, Bomber not so much, he's not. But um, you know, like uh, you know, we don't have an awful lot of caps. Um, but like, you know, we're still pretty experienced players. I'd say at this point, um, and and I think we you know we're quite cohesive in the in the backfield. You know, and 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 that from like looking from the first two rounds, I think things have been going pretty well. So. Yeah, look, we've we still a lot to work on, and and we still have to get that, you know, like a hundred percent, you know, knowing where each other is without even, you know, telling each other. But um, but yeah, we're definitely getting there, and and I, I don't think it's a matter of finding feet in it anymore. I think it's about, you know, yeah, we're playing well, but we want to keep playing better, and we want to keep pushing, you know, to that very very top level. Maybe people feel that um, they're kind of wondering where, or what have maybe Jacob Stockley we saw he was kind of. All those tries for him. Do you feel maybe that you're kind of more of a marked man now to come, coming up against really quality opposition because you are so dangerous? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, like, I think to be honest, I'm playing better rugby than I was in 2018. Uh, you know, I'm enjoying myself a lot more, I'm a lot more solid defensively. Um, like, I feel like I'm getting my hands on the ball a lot more than I did in, in 2018 Six Nations. Um, just happens to be that the tries aren't coming my way, you know, and. And as a winger, like every winger knows that you're going to experience, you know, like dry spots, um, you know, times where, you know, passes don't don't get thrown to you, and you know you don't get those kind of walk-ins that, you know, as a winger you have to feed off every now and again to get get those tries. But yeah, like I'm really happy where my game is at at the moment. And I'm really enjoying my rugby, and um, you know, hopefully, yeah, a couple of a uh, couple of tries will come away in the next next few weeks. Connor, does the same apply to you if you've gone maybe? Um, it, like Jacob said, it's it's not really not, it's nice to score try, but it, for me to to set a fella up or put a fella away in a, in an assist type way is, is just as pleasing for me. So, um, you know, those opportunities or those those try scoring chances haven't been there as much um, for whatever reason. But in terms of my my role in the team, um, you know, I feel things are are going pretty well, and I'm really happy with where where I'm at. And you know. If tries come my way, then, then great. But it's it's not really um, you know it's, it's not really part of my role in terms of yeah it's great to score them. But if if I can help put Jacob away in the outsider or you know do something in the lead up to a try that that really helps the team, then then that's great. So I'd much rather it be going well that way and 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 be scoring tries than than have a problem with with the other parts of my game. So right now I'm really happy with where I'm at. And you know if, if tries come my way, then great. But if we're if we're winning and I'm putting people away, then that's that's absolutely fine. Um, I just that whole week our attitude was and our mindset was really really good. We knew we had to go to Twickenham and perform and um, not necessarily take risks or or, or chances, but um, go after the game and, and attack the game. And I thought we did that really good. Um, I thought defensively our our energy was right up there with, with one of our best performances uh, defensively, and that really helped us in our in our overall performance. I think. Um, before half time, our, our decision to to run a player, or I can't remember what set piece it was off, but we ended up scoring a try. I think Jacob scored um, with the chip and chase, and just having the um, willingness to go and, and chase that before half time. A lot of teams might have waited till the clock, went to 40 minutes, and kicked it out. Whereas that day, um, you know, in that season, or whatever, we, we backed ourselves, um, which which was fantastic. And and there were there were an awful lot of aspects to that performance um, that, that we were chasing. Um, yeah, we've had tough times there. We've had we've had good performances there, and, and just come come out the wrong side of the scoreboard as well. So it's not like that was a once off. I, don't, I think the the fear factor of going there isn't as, as big as what it used to be. The, the respect of it, of the English side is, is definitely there, and um, you know we're all aware of that. But um, 
you know, we, we've had times where we've we've gone over there with a really good attitude and played really well and, and just missed out. Um, obviously, the 2018 game was is going to be the one that stands out. It was for a grand slam. Um, England away in the last day, it's going to be the biggest memory you have over there. But um, yeah, it is tough to perform there. It takes it takes a massive week of prep and, and uh, the proper mindset. And you know, the, the first few days of this week have gone really well, and, and we're um, we're moving nicely. Uh, Ben's a great fella. Um, like you said, I, I know him um, quite well at this stage, and um, you know I think the thing with him is just the constant threat he, he provides. Um, you know you can't assume anything against England, and, and especially with him at nine. Um, you know if he spots something, uh, you know he'll back himself to you know go down a blind side or, or kick over the top or whatever it is. Um, just a fella that you can't keep your you can't take your eye off. Um, and you know he's he's a world class player. Uh, he's been around, I, th- I don't know how many caps. I think he's around ninety odd caps at this stage. So um, that didn't happen by chance. He's, he's a he's a fantastic player and um, a handful a handful to to play against. Over in England, you've come in for a little bit of criticism recently and didn't start the game last week. Do you sympathise with that as a guy yourself has had a lot of experience and just always pressure from below and outside? From yeah. Um, yeah, you can see why it, why it can happen sometimes. You know, their their first game against France, it was a it was a really tough day. Look, France, I was watching that game. They scored, um, you know, early tries um, and, and got a bit of a lead. And then, you know, England suddenly have to chase the game on a on a wet and greasy day. And and as half back half backs, you, you might have to try and force it and 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 run balls that you they mightn't necessarily run uh, if the scoreline was a bit different. So you know, it was an extremely difficult day, and, and things like that can happen. Um, you know, he's Ben's had had things like that. We've all had things like that throughout our career, and um, he's bounced back many times. So that's what makes him makes him dangerous. If if he or uh, Hein starts, you know, they're going to be a handful no matter who it is. Um, yeah, it's always going to be weird, isn't it? Something like that is just um, it's a bit strange. But he's done it so well for the the few times we've played um, England. You know, he just sticks at the task at hand and um, you know sometimes he gives some good insights in, into Owen's game that we, we mightn't necessarily have seen but um, yeah it's, 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 it's always a bit, bit odd uh, when he's talking about his son yeah, yeah like we've uh, I've played against Owen a good few times I've toured with him um, he's, a, he's an incredible player and, and a really good decision maker so you know having knowledge of the way he plays, you know, he's still able to pick the right option. So uh, that's what that's what makes him really hard to de- to defend or, or to um, to analyse. You know, he's he's a player that that plays what's in front of him really well. Um, so it's going to be tough on the day, no matter how much knowledge you have.